Back now at 822, the first Twilight film opened back in 2008, and now four movies and more than two and a half billion dollars later in ticket sales, the final installment in the franchise is about to hit theaters. It is called The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2. Once again, Kristen Stewart is back as Bella, but this time she's now a mother, a vampire, and ready to live her new life. Take a look. Welcome home. We thought you guys might like a place of your own. What do you think? I think it's perfect. Go inside. Zara. Vampires don't sleep. Kristen Stewart, good morning. It's nice to have you back. Thank you. So we were chatting a little bit in the commercial break here, and you were saying that, that you know, okay, there's a bit of melancholy here. You're, mm. you're happy that the story has been told. Lots changed with Bella. Mm. But the instant that it was over, you missed it. Yeah. I mean, to have five years with one main focus, it's, um, it's just rare for an actor. Usually you've got, like, five weeks, five months. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely, you know... I'm okay walking away, but at the same time, I, I could, you know, I could keep it for another five. Well, adding to the degree of difficulty for you, the last two movies were shot together, as I understand it. So in one movie, you're human and pregnant, and in the next movie, you're kind of a butt-kicking vampire. Was it hard to make that adjustment every day? Um, yeah, I, I was really lucky. You know, playing, playing Bella for so long as a human really helped me play her as a vampire because it didn't seem that, like, like this huge leap into fantasy land. It was, mm -hmm. I don't know, it was a natural step for her. It was um, not to be to, like, completely cheesy and quote the movie, but it's, like, she really was born, born to do that. So she... She. She. distinction. She's really, really strong as a character, and and uh, you know the the strength that you see from being a, a newborn vampire to, you know, being very self-assured. Mm. So how how did that change your perspective in playing it that way? Um, it, it did always feel like if you if you took the fact that she was a vampire away, it was she was a fully realized version of who you always knew she could be. She's always been she's always been really self assured. It's just that on the outside, you know, fear is a funny thing when you're that age. It's uh, it, it can be a, a motivator. It can kind of cripple you. And Bella has always been the type of person to. Um, once one of those walls are broken down, she doesn't try to build it back up. She really lends herself to uh, experience. Well, Kristen, you have so many fans, and they will be mad at us if we don't ask you. And they follow your life, and they want to know, are you back together with Robert Pattinson? Honey, you mentioned that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to let people watch whatever little movie.